Hey there, this is Dr. Schumard, and today I want to talk about the complexity of the thyroid. Many times people talk about, oh, the thyroid this and the thyroid that, but many people don't understand the complexity and what it's doing and how it impacts so many areas of your body. And what's important is that most of the treatment in the traditional model is focused on the thyroid itself, where most of the action is happening beyond the thyroid. So today I thought it would be a good idea to draw a little diagram to be a little more clear of the specifics. Now, when we look at the thyroid, actually the initial process starts in the brain. So the brain is going to send a message to the thyroid and that's called TSH. Many of you may know that as thyroid stimulating hormone. It's one of the common blood markers that is evaluated by your physician to evaluate your thyroid to see if it's a low or high thyroid. So the TSH is then sent to the thyroid to produce two hormones. That's T4 and T3. Now, interestingly enough, that's when you look at the thyroid and the overall function of what it's producing, there's about 93% is, is T4 and about 7% is T3. Now, this is important because your T3 is your active hormone. This is the hormone that's gonna turn on your DNA, your metabolism, your brain function. Every single cell in your body requires this. Well, how is your body gonna survive up only 7%? And it can't. So what happens and what's amazing is that the body will start to convert your T4 to T3. And it does that in a specific areas. One is the liver, one is the kidneys, and one is the GI. So these three areas is where that conversion happens. So your thyroid produces T4, it then gets put into those three different organs, and then it converts that T4 to T3 to allow for you to have enough production of T3. So once the T3 is then produced, it gets then on a little bus, and that little bus will go to the different tissues of your body to support everything it needs. So if we look at this right here, there are so many steps that are involved in so many areas where things can break down. We can have a problem between the brain and the thyroid itself, that communication can be broken down. And then there's a possibility there could be some problems inside your thyroid where maybe you're not producing enough T4 or T3, and there's many mechanisms that could be driving that. Now, if your thyroid does produce the hormone, then it's gonna take that hormone and then convert it in those different areas. And imagine if you don't have a proper liver function or proper kidney function, or your GI is not functioning properly. And how do we know that? Well, maybe you've got elevated cholesterol. That's a liver problem. Maybe you've got digestive symptoms and that's GI. And maybe your kidneys aren't eliminating appropriately. We can start to see these conversion. And the same problems that we can see from a hypothyroid situation, the fatigue, weight gain, hair loss, et cetera, can happen from under conversion. So your doctor could be telling you, oh no, your thyroid is fine. The TSH looks good. You're doing great. But what if you're not converting? And if you're not being evaluated appropriately for all these different markers, then that could be a major issue. Stay tuned to one of my follow-up videos where we'll talk about all the markers you should be looking at and you should be evaluated, in my opinion, on a regular basis that you're probably not being looked at um, every single time you're getting tested. So hope this helps you a little more understand more about the complexity of the thyroid. Have a great day.